Well, there was about four minutes of usable footage in this video. People keep asking me, are my spark plugs black? And I'm, I'm thinking, thinking yeah. Uh -oh. I'm thinking they're black. <laughs> so we're gonna pull the plugs out of it right now and hopefully none of them tell me a tale of two cities or two compression rings. Which one of my plug wires ripped? Uh, oh, one one. No, just the one. You motherfuckers. It's right there. Dang it, dude. Run of your face up. Dude, I didn't rip it on purpose. It just kind of ripped. This is even worse to get out now. No, 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 no. Hold on. You gotta dip it. You know, people talk shit about F-body plugs, but at least I don't have to take the exhaust off. The whole ass two-foot <laughs> exhaust? Yeah. I don't have to do that. Mine look good, except I had a dead hole on... Number seven, I believe. This this side, right? I can't remember. Dude, you can your turbo's still smoking. Good. It's good for it. They can't see that. <laughs> Here. This is the dead hole on this side. I don't see oil on any of these yet, so... There's no oil on the other side either. There's no oil on the other side? No. It's the turbo that's bad. Yeah, I mean, it's still smoking. A group of pill pushers? <laughs> no. <laughs> Surely, all this smoke is normal. Well, the, the, the decision is now to continue running that until it's completely done or take it off and take it apart and look at it. Now make sure that you get the 12 inch plug wire if you got like one of these Silverados or something like that. Because these, they fit, but like it was like a pit, like a, it was a stretch. And surely that has nothing to do with any problems that we may or may not be having. Plug wires don't control misfires. What are you talking about? There is a little oil on this one. A little okay. what's a, what's a little because a little and a lot are different by my standards that's what happened the misfire came from this dude back here this plug wire either came off or your coils dead or the coils dead i mean they're everywhere so i might as well just replace it right i mean i think you got a rack of coils on the bottom of the tool car oh no i lost the spring that's why it's misfiring i lost the spring the spring's gone now what am i springs ain't spring well <clears throat> We could take the back of the turbine housing off and look at it. And see if it's just like cake. Good. Calm down, cinematographer. You're just giving people vomit cam. He's like, like it's a magic wand. Yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah. You're, you're, not you're not shooting porn, dude. Hey, you don't gotta get the labias and the flavias or anything like that. You're gonna add this, I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah, like my, Crankcase ventilation back here is just that. <laughs> this oily hose coming out of the PVC, PVC valve back here. It's even plastic too. Is oh this yeah. Is a boost controller? Look at that. No, that's a map. That's a map? This is the finest, cheapest eBay three bar map you can get. It's a three bar? Yeah. Off so of, can have like what'd that cost you? Fifteen dollars. Oh, dude, that's cheap as. F <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when you buy off of eBay, dog. When, when you buy so, off, so when you buy off them on a four bar. <laughs> when you when you buy off of them, they're evil base. What's yeah. your zero pressure? <laughs> I remember before you were like it's zero. What's the old pressure at now? Oh, it actually works since I put a cluster <laughs> where the stepper motors aren't <laughs> jittering around and flopping up and down like a windsock. Well, what are you nice. at though, like pressure wise? Forty pounds. That's not bad. Yeah, it's as, like as, as, as rattly <laughs> as it is in the valve train, it's not bad at all. It's, it's not bad at all. Your push rods are too short. Is that my push rods are too short? Oh, my push rods are too short. <laughs> That's the first time he's heard that. All right, we got this thing tore apart, and the verdict is 
I was I was thinking like crankcase pressure, like coming out needs a catch can or something like that, which it still does. It probably does. It still probably does. I'm not gonna. But this is uh, like my PVC routing right here. I left the valve in, so it actually has something like a little marble that jumps up and down, and the the oil just kind of shoots out here to the ground. Like there's another hose that I had on this right here, and uh, this was uh, the the seepage coming out. So hardly anything. Yeah, hardly anything at all. Like it, like it would be hosed down here, but it still needs a catch can. In my belief, because you could literally see oil like seeping out of like all the gaskets while it's running, like little vapors of oil. And uh, it needs a turbo. It needs a turbo. But I digest. It needs a turbo. It needs a turbo. Seven eight seventy five. Might be getting a seven eight seventy five. Order. You know, like the, the the turbo that I spec for this. The turbo that you told PTC you had. The turbo that I told him to match my converter to. Yeah, yeah. I might need that one. <laughs> probably drive a lot better. Oh, dude, it would it would it would not like you know wait till six grand to light off. I really. Well, I think that's just the design of the turbo. I really like this turbo for what it for what it is for a two hundred dollar turbo just to get your feet wet into the world of Boosty Boys. Uh, yeah, it worked great. Like this okay, thing, yeah. this thing's a damn animal at six grand doing freeway speed burnouts. But I think I may be, uh, all right. See, this is how it works. I got a checking, I got savings. You got stimulated. I got stimulated. We, we've been stimulated, so we gotta. We hood rich tonight. We hood so. rich. <laughs> Might be calling up Varen. He's like right here in Denton too. Like him and Jake's, the guy that was on Sloppy the other and, night. And uh, uh, the other guy, founder, uh, the Simpson? Turbo, the turbo guy. No, he's in like Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, yeah. Robert Young, Zona yeah, Rotors. He's, he's here yeah. too. But yet again, I'm like, well, I blew it up. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Did you break the turbo? I think so. Josh broke your turbo, dude. Broke your turbo. <sighs> Gotta get another one. It worked. A turbo charge is broken. <laughs> Her spurs oh, is oh what no, you it's, need. It's a, it's a rough spot right there. It's, Are you is, serious? This is garbage. You can't use it. No. Don't. <laughs> Don't play with my emotions right now, okay? All right, let's so go, do you want let's me go to for a ride. There is one. Kinda. <laughs> Unplug the coils. I want to freewheel it. See if anything comes out. Hey, Eugene, if you're watching Ow. this, Ow. Eugene, I meant to call you yesterday. We miss you. How did you go one month without ever changing your oil? Hell, you didn't even have any oil. I told him about the Honda. <laughs> <laughs> Get up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But now me and Walter were talking about this, and a lot of people complain when you open these engines up and let the magic out, like I I did. You have to strategically put it back in. You strategically put it back in by honing all the cylinders and forgetting to clean them out and leaving iron dust debris in the engine when you run it. See, it just it just. It's uh, the little things in life, you know. We're putting. The magic back in the engine. Well, all that iron dust, it, it, it collects on the bearings and then it helps your oil pressure because it takes up the clearance. Yes, yeah, science! It's like the Care Bears when they do the Care Bear Stare. What? You never seen the Care Bear Stare? No. Goldstein Burst. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, like, while it's all apart, I think I might just do like a quick compression test and just see what happens. Beep, 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 breaking update. We just found some stuff. We noticed that when we were looking at the plug, we noticed one dead hole, and we take a closer look at it, and uh, I don't know if you can see that. The gap <laughs> is gap? non-existent now. Now, the first thing that would come to mind is like, oh my God, a piston ran into my spark plug. So with cooler heads, that prevailed we looked a little bit further into this and we we're noticing like i'm like well the texture of this plug is kind of weird so cylinder number five for some reason is running lean enough to where it got the electrode red hot and it melted over into the spark plug so now next question is why did it do that so we're gonna figure out i'm gonna run a compression test on this thing either tomorrow or next week or next year whenever i get time to do it and what I'm pretty sure what happened was the injector harness that I wired in right here. You can see I used all these like little nifty 
heat shrink connectors on all of them. And it, this is 100% my fault. I should have went in here and ohmed from the PCM connector to all these injector trigger wires and just like to see what they were as like as a ballpark if they're all uniform or just like to look at them and then look up the specs later with reckless abandon and say it's okay and i would be willing to bet money that some of the wiring on number five injector is receiving enough resistance to make the injector run leaner than the rest of the cylinders and cause the electrode on that plug to get hot enough to fold over onto itself and melt into the spark plug itself. Now, something that went on as a thought process after that is like, okay, well, if it did that, what does the top of the piston look like? The top of the piston is probably burnt too. But since I took this thing apart and I got my rings to the moon, it might not be too bad. So, in other words, I'm gonna check the injector harness, still think about another turbo, and then we're gonna to continue to thrash on this thing until we break it and figure out scientifically what exactly happens when you have a turbo shit box and you don't care what happens. I'm gonna to continue to go put everything away in the shop and then I'm gonna go, I guess, watch the next episode of the Hoople's podcast with Arnie's antics. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, you yeah. Remember, like, the mic is, like, really do you, sensitive? Do you understand how dark that is? Mic's really sensitive. Kind of hold it far from your face. Do you understand Otherwise, it'll, like, try to get, like, fat guy breathing. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 breathing. I'm going to bump it. Ready? Go ahead. The battery is not hooked up. Get my, Such an elegant solution. Get my quality battery clamp hooked back up to the engine, please. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna get shocked for this, but whatever. Keep going. No, all this, all that, all that shit's going. It's not the cam. It's not a push rod. It ain't a spring. It's a piston. <laughs> you broke a piston. No. All right. In my honest guess, the timing was too hot, and I melted a piston, okay? Didn't I say you were going to melt one? Where's the Where's the plug? At? You got a knot. There you go. I told you. What? What, what, are you, what are you getting upset about? I told you. So, yeah. So, that means it might have actually made 500 tire. That means... Because I put my parasitic draw at like what like 0. 0.7 30% yeah 30% instead of like 0. 0.8 like what everyone else does on their rear tire <laughs> calculator and uh it, it said 480 to the rear wheel that was definitely 500 I don't know what do you guys think like 75 mile an hour burnouts 500 tire and a 6,000 pound truck with two spare tires and a toolbox in the back how does this truck gain weight every time we talk about it <laughs> With a one, <laughs> one billion pound truck. <laughs> you know what? I ain't even mad. You know what I'm really mad about? My grill. Like in your mouth or? No. Like oh. the, the grill that I was trying to cook on out there because I was, I was like, okay, like, all right, we just. No, no, back no. Up. I'm, I'm more mad about the sausages. Rewind. The, the bratwursts. Now they can actually see shit somewhat stably. Okay, so we just ran a compression test on this thing, and we have what, what, 175 on this bank. 160 on this one cylinder that we checked. The one cylinder that was like a control for and, this side. And then like zero. And then number five that we suspected with the melted plug, and it was uh, <laughs> settle. <laughs> Absolutely settle. So, uh. Might have been less than zero, to be honest. Walter wants to like, uh, get, get up on his uh, milk crate soapbox. Where's it at? It's over here. I had, a, I'm short. I had to get over. I had to reach somehow. And uh, tell me that like, yeah, you're gonna break a piston. I'm like, no, you know what? no, I didn't break a piston. I melted a piston. I'm gonna be because I, I had it at 16 degrees on 93 I, pump. I don't think I described how you were gonna break the piston. First of all, let's let's just be technical right here. In and, other words, and second of all, I don't want to be wrong. And why is there a part number on your? 
Oh, that's my tech number. You shouldn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't look at. Don't look that up. Or like, and correspond it to where I work. Hey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ain't no name tag. Ain't no name tag. Wait. Oh, I took that one off too. I'm like, how you like that, Steve? <laughs> we broke it first. <laughs> we win. We win. Internet half five screw. Hey. hey. <laughs> now we're gonna get another. Uh, this is just gonna come out, and then we're gonna get five three. A, another five four, three. four eight. I don't I, care. I, I prefer a 4 8. Yeah. I'm going to get something with the, the hood that was on it in the junkyard. And junk a turbo yard. that works. No, we still got to test this turbo. You did, your turbo was spitting oil. No, the engine was spitting oil, bro. No, it was a turbo. <laughs> that was, I, think gonna, those, gonna, I think those were two separate problems. We're going to jerk that head off and we're going to know real quick. It was, the, it was the turbo broken and you just happened to melt the top of a piston. No. Yeah. Also, like a dollar, all, a dollar says that's what it was. Well, when I was flooring this thing, I had an alleged ten nine air fuel. He's he's throwing money down. I had an alleged nine <laughs> ten, I, alleged nine ten nine, alleged nine. I had an alleged ten nine air fuel, and uh, theoretically that's fine, right? Theoretically that's fine if you don't have any exhaust leaks, which like, I had plenty. Like you did. Which I had plenty of. <laughs> And we, you know what? We floored it anyway. All the time. <laughs> All the time. But hey, it ran really good. Right up until the end. Right up until the end. Until it did. And I had my my buddy uh, uh beep in the the <laughs> yeah in the car, and he he's a big Honda guy, and we're probably gonna try to get some footage of his build here later on pretty soon. And uh, he was like, he told me it was just flat out scary. This isn't even fast. This is not even, this is barely 400 tire. Hey, did you know you blew a coupler off too? Did I? No, just kidding. I was about to say, like, <laughs> like we would have, like, completed the trifecta if, we, if I did that. But, uh, yeah, this engine's coming out. We're getting another one. This is going to be a donor for parts. And, uh, yeah. We're force, at, force rods, force pistons. He's going to do it right Now that time. we know where we stand, we can slam it all back together and try it again. The first one's for free. That's what they say, right? No. You paid for this engine. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. But, I'm, like, another thing that I'm, like, really bummed about is, like, you ripped my plug wire. Man, that's your fault. You bought the cheapest shit off of Rock Auto you could find. No, it was the premium. I could show you the receipt. Very premium. Much expensive. Break his shit first at this rate. Steve's gonna break his first, and it's it's gonna be something way dumber than a lifting a ring land or something like that. He's Break. gonna like the crankshaft's just gonna jump out of the top of the engine or something. That'd be cool. That'd yeah. be really cool, Steve. If you could pull that off, <laughs> I'd give you the biggest internet high five. The biggest internet high five ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you later. And don't forget to, if you can't donate, just show my buddy Ryan some love with his GoFundMe page for his dad who recently got diagnosed with ALS. It would mean the world to people like me and his family and his friends. This guy, he is like the toughest dude that I've ever met. He's worked two jobs longer than like I've almost been alive. Uh, yeah. You got a <laughs> But please, if you guys want to show him some love, if you can, that's fine. Just good vibes and prayers will be fine enough. All right, we'll see you later.